how okay, are you i am good sir sir how are you i am also fine congratulations for spit mumbai for mc thank program you, thank you so much so spit se i am taking many podcasts <laughs> lagta hai sab log spit mein hi milenge aur spit jayenge aage bhi <laughs> visit okay. wale bhi aayenge uh, in the race but yeah happy to know that you are in spit and uh, crack cet with a good percentile manasvi uh, before we start a detail conversation uh, already uh, we have a we had a conversation regarding spit other student also but i want to understand your view point uh, with regards to the right, right from the teaching right from the campus right from the curriculum active curric, uh, extra curricular activity and uh, teaching stuff and etc etc but before that want to understand about yourself uh, your which state do you belong to like your academic background and how spi spit idea mc idea came to the picture yeah okay so starting with myself i am manasvi manshu and i completed my bscit from usha pravin gandhi college which is in bele parte and um, i i got 86.4 percentile in my 10th standard and 87.3 in my 12th grade and in when i was in december in december i got to know about this program mca like we can do something after bscit masters mm. so in december i got to know and in january i I had registered for the exam, and in February I started preparing for the MSCG exam. Okay, okay, yeah. nice. So it was very clear that you want to pursue MCA. Your academic background didn't get you. Academic background is what? Ah, uh, I did my BSc IT from Usha Pravin Gandhi College. Okay, okay, BSc IT. Obviously, yeah. IT ki IT background to obviously you will go for the MCA. Yes. Why not? You have thought of MBA in IT rather than the MCA. Exactly. That is why I was very confused in beginning. Should I do MBA or should I do MCA? You know, MBA in IT is also a very nice uh, option after BSCIT that you mm -hmm. can go for. Mm -hmm. But still, I was very confused. So it took me some time to clear my thoughts and decide. You know what I want to do next. So by mm -hmm. December, I had decided I want to go for MCA because I wanted to have some technical, like more of a technical knowledge than of management knowledge. So I think okay. I, I was good in technical skills. Okay. Okay. So yeah. But but you have hunt about what is MBA IT? What are the colleges you? Yes. Yes. I did my research in both the fields, like in MCA as well as MBA. Like after doing both the courses, what companies I can target? Uh, what kind of other options I have? You know, job roles and stuff like that. So after analyzing entire uh, things, I I I was very sure I want to do an. Tell me three major things which tempted you to pursue MCA rather than over the MCA MBIT. So I thought MCA was a very good option for me because technical skill is my forte rather than mm -hmm. management skills. Mm. Yeah, and secondly, the companies that you can go for after MCA are majorly product based companies that you can opt for, which you cannot go for after BSA. After okay. BSCIT, you only get service-based company. But if you want to be placed at a product-based company, you have to get a master's degree. For mm. that, that is my. So that was also a very big plus point that made me do MCA. Okay. Also, I wanted to learn more. You know, in this field, I wanted to have more knowledge about uh, other things that mm. are happening, like React and stuff like that. You know, there are like new technologies that I wanted to learn, which I could not do in my BSCIT. Okay. It was a okay. very limited course, so I wanted to do more. Okay, you appeared for the CET and uh, you got SPIT. So, VGTI mila nahi ya VGTI mila tha, but SPIT you opted for. VGTI mila nahi. I tried for betterment also in all three camp rounds, but I did not get. Had it been, if you got VGTI mila, then you you must have gone for the VGTI or yeah, SPIT. <laughs> I would have thought about it, but uh, I I yeah. Obviously, SPIT is an autonomous college, and BJTI is a government college. But I would, I would have given it a thought, and then I would have researched on both the colleges and then selected. Okay, okay. So uh, let's talk about the SPIT campus. How is it, and uh, what is your daily routine, and uh, how is the lecture going on? What are the extracurricular activity you are doing? Yes. What are the committees there? Have you? I mean, are you the part? I mean, you are the part of any of the committees? Yeah, etc. etc. But how one by one? 
so about the campus campus is great actually campus is very good right now i'm sitting in college hence the network issue okay so yeah so campus is very good so everything is here honestly every branch is here every stream is here including the tech technical students core students my campus students so if you want to increase your view point or if you want to increase basic knowledge about any field you can actually go on approach this to students the students are also very helpful so campus wise it is very good uh, faculties are also very good they are very kind to they solve all your problems all your doubts there are many students who are not from technical background and they make sure that you know they have a special attention they make sure that their basics you know they get their basics right uh so yeah fact faculty is very nice and uh, about my daily routine so lecture starts at 8:30 and it ends by 4:30 but after that we have a lot of course work to do so i leave college by 10 in night okay yeah so your lecture start from morning like 8:30 morning and ends at 4:30 or sometimes 6:30 depends on the day okay okay and per yeah. lecture it is of 2 hours right uh no it's of 1 hour but the practical uh, subjects are of 2 hours okay okay yeah. so in between you will get the break, you get the break also right yeah we get a 1 hour break okay yes. okay nice and after then post self lecture what you do post lecture there are lots of rooms available in which you can actually go and study So they are available till ten at night. So actually, I go and sit there, you know, to complete all my coursework. To do something other than that, you know, to practice mm. for uh, placements and stuff like that. And uh, committees. When it comes to committees, there are a lot of good committees in SPIT, and I am part of placement training placement CP of committee. Okay, PlaceCom. Yeah. Okay. If you are the part of committee. Yeah. what are the learnings uh, you get or what are the skill set you developed if you are the part of committee i would suggest every student to at least take part in one committee because there are a lot of things that you get to learn a how to handle a faculty or a company or you know if there are three to four students under you how do you manage them or how do you manage a single minute problem that you face you know, on a daily basis while organizing a, an event or anything you know so presence of mind is uh, so you you need to have a good presence of mind and also that develops when you are in a committee and also i think uh, leadership quality that is something that comes once you practice so committee is mm. a great way way to practice that out so the person who is very uh, introvert he or she should join committee yeah. and people like me people who are introverted they should actually join committee it's the best way to develop your communication skills as well mm hmm mm hmm yeah okay and uh, seniors are also there right i mean so how much help you get from the seniors and uh, how they help you in in what regards seniors seniors are very good here, honestly uh mm -hmm. now they all are placed and uh, they will be living they will be leaving this campus by december Okay. But still, they are very much involved in our process. Also, they guide us throughout. You know, it's very important that we are not getting or it's like difficult for us to adjust. They help mm -hmm. us throughout. You know, we have our senior guidance throughout. Okay. Yeah, they are very nice. helpful. So, what are the recruiters uh, coming for hire uh, to hire you people? So, recruiters basically, uh, they are the companies that do come uh, in this campus, like PayPal, and from TCS to PhonePay. to sometimes microsoft and good companies like that they do come to this campus depends on the year actually yeah it totally like recruiters change from uh, year to year okay there's no like fix mm -hmm. so since you are the i mean you are the part of placecom committee so what is the average pack is going on i mean uh, aspirants are getting as of now currently uh, placement is still going on seniors for our seniors placement is still going on some students are placed and some are not placed yet so it will go till december placement uh, the entire placement session for our seniors so okay. average package is of 9 lps 8 or 9 lps and the highest always is about 15 okay about 
Yeah. What are the extracurriculum activity happening and uh, are you enjoying all the activities? So activities, so I think SPIT is greatly focused on placement, if I have to say. It was very placement oriented college, I'd like to say. So uh, everything, even the activities here are uh, are kept are kept when students want like practice anything about placement stuff like that. So there are a lot of hackathons. hackathons. Uh, okay. coding competition mm-hmm. when it comes to technical things and also a good amount of uh, other curriculum activities like dance singing and stuff like that so mm-hmm. those are also there totally okay. depends on students in which they okay. want to make. so nice. everything is there the students have to like students just have to uh, like understand what they want to do and then take part in whichever committee or competition they want to take part in okay okay so since you are mumbai ka so accommodation wise there is no issue i mean you have your but i home. still have opted for a pg because the uh, lectures are like very long so uh-huh. i don't get any time if, if i stay near virar so if if i have to travel all the way from virar to andheri so it's a lot more hectic okay you stay in virar yeah so i don't get any time to study if i keep on traveling daily so i have uh, i have uh, gotten a pg here so i stay here in andheri also only yeah okay. okay it is near to the college yeah, it's very near to the college okay okay nice now tell me about the uh, manasvi your cd preparation journey how was your preparation journey how you have managed what are the uh, challenges you came across how you have tackled it yeah yeah so i only had one month to prepare for my cd Uh, I started my preparation in Feb, and in Feb I had a very le- less knowledge of what to do, what not to do. But I think one or two days I dedicated completely to researching, like what all things is asked in CBE. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so what what chapters hold the maximum weightage? What test series I should opt for? And I would like to mm-hmm. say that uh, for people who are actually preparing for test series. Uh, Keep preparing for MX CG right now. They should always, always sort test series as as much as test series as you can. Really, you should go for that because that's how you know you can what what all things you can do and what all things you cannot do. You know, so you need to focus on things that are very difficult to solve or things like that. You get to know what in what things you are in. You are there are a lot of things that you are weak in. So you know you you need to know where where you lack. Okay. Yeah. Out of four section. Maths, logic, computer, and English. Which section was toughest section for you, and which was the easiest section for you? Easiest section will be English and computers because I have a technical background. So computer section was very easy for me, and also okay. English. But math section was a little lengthy. I'd not say it was difficult. I'd say it was a little. Lengthy. So it was more time consuming. So okay. Maths. Yeah. It is the all-time tough and time-consuming section in your exam. In I mean, yeah. those who are targeting for the CET, all the aspirant, maths ka section all-time time-consuming or tough hone wala hai. So be ready for it. Yeah. And uh, tell me your day-to-day experience. This is an exam tha, right from leaving from the home to reaching the center. And just say exam chalu hone ke just start hua to kya experience tha feeling kya thi ya? So I was very nervous about this. Uh, but there were like lot of students in my class who were giving mm-hmm. MCQ for the very second time, and they've been preparing for past one year, two years, six months, eight months. And I was here with only one month of preparation. Mm-hmm. So I was very scared. And before exam, I thought I was not able. I, I, I like this was impossible for me. That's what I thought before exam. You know, when exam was going to start, hearing everybody mm-hmm. uh, preparing for like how long they've been preparing. Uh, so I thought it is very difficult for me to crack. But yeah, once exam started, so I focused on the paper and I did as much as I could. So after that, yeah. Okay. So you think? Uh, do you think you have done some of the mistake in the exam which one should not do? Those who are watching this uh, video. Yes. Uh, so a is that please, uh, but, but please give as much as time to Max as you can, and because Max is very time consuming, and the only way you can reduce that time uh, limit. Is by practicing. So practice as as much as maths as you can, mm-hmm. and also apart from maths, if you are weak in maths, so you can focus on the rest 
take that shrooms because those are actually storing us uh, that shrooms. So you can go mm-hmm. for that. So if you think your mass is weak, so you can gain spores from rest three sections. So mm-hmm. you can prepare for reasoning, logical, and English mm-hmm. and computers, and make sure that you don't lose mass in any of these sections. If you mm-hmm. are weak in mass or any other section, I can. Okay. So that's all, guys. In this podcast, uh, Manasvi explained everything about SPIT right from her preparation journey and how she cracked. Now she is in SPIT, and if you will crack MCCT, you will get into the SPIT. She will be your senior, <laughs> and uh, you can, you can take guidance from her. And uh, that's all in this podcast. Uh, thank you for coming and sharing your experience, and uh, uh, congratulations for SPIT and all the very best for your career. Thank you, sir. Same area. Yeah. Chalo.